Before we get into the constant current circuit, it's a good idea to take a look at the Zener diode that we're going to be using. It's a very small Zener diode, meaning just one watt, and I've chosen to use a 5 volt Zener diode. And in this circuit, it does put out 5 volts. And in this next video, we're going to see what happens when we add a diode to the output. Okay, I've got the left meter hooked across this Zener diode. You can see that it reads about 5.4 volts. I'm going to take one green LED and short it across I can find it there we go and you can see that the voltage dropped down to 2.8 well, we saw that when we added just a single diode LED across the output, the voltage went down to 2.84 volts. So, let's see what happens when we hook this diode in this circuit. Now, when we look at this circuit, this seems pretty familiar. If you notice it has a real resemblance to an audio amplifier. In this constant current circuit for the load I'm going to be using LEDs. Now this next video I've got a meter hooked across the Zener diode. It's going to be the right meter and the left meter is going to be looking at the voltage across the 100 ohm resistor. We'll see what the current is and also when I short out the diode we're going to see what the voltage is across the Zener diode and the resistor. Okay, the left meter is across the Zener diode and the right meter is across the 100 ohm resistor. Now I'm going to add an LED to the load. Notice really nothing really changed. I'm going to add a another LED and another LED and let me short this out Notice nothing changed there, even when I shorted out the load. Well, we saw in the video that the voltages did not change. The voltage across the Zener diode stayed at 5 volts. And even when I shorted out the load, the voltage did not change across the Zener diode or the 100 ohm resistor. Now I'm going to change the meter setup. I'm going to put an amp meter in series with the load and a voltmeter across the emitter and collector of the transistor. And I'm going to add diodes 
to increase the load and we're going to see what happens to the amp meter and the voltmeter as I add diodes to the circuit and even if I short the load completely. Okay, the right meter is the current meter and the left meter is across the emitter and collector of the transistor. Now I'm going to start adding diodes. see the voltage kept going up on the meter across the emitter and collector but the current remains the same now I'm going to short out the load Notice the current still remains the same, but the voltage went up across the emitter and collector of that transistor. As we saw in the video, as I added LEDs to the load, the current remained the same but the voltage steadily increased across the transistor between the emitter and collector, which means as the voltage increases, that means that the resistance of that transistor between the emitter and collector is increasing in resistance. I did some more experimenting with this circuit and found that if I lowered the resistance of that emitter resistor, that 100 ohm resistor, the current would increase. I put a 190 ohm resistor across that 100 ohm resistor and the current went up to 70 milliamps and stayed there. Thanks for watching.